Today, worldwide, there are around 600 million persons aged 60 years and over. This total will double by 2025 and will reach virtually 2 billion by 2050, the vast majority of them in the developing world. Already, older persons make major contributions to society. For instance, throughout Africa and elsewhere, millions of adult AIDS patients are cared for at home by their parents. On their death, orphaned children left behind currently at 14 million under the age of 15 in African countries alone are mainly looked after by their grandparents. Aligned with the Madrid International Plan of Action, the World Health Organization launched in 2002 a document titled Active Aging, a policy framework outlining its approaches and perspectives for healthy aging through the life course. In Nigeria, Age Well Care Initiative has taken up the challenge of making sure older persons are taken care of, thereby making them a resource for their families, their communities, and the economy. Founded by Juliet Barong Agbo, who was touched by the circumstance that led to the death of her aunt and several other older relatives and the poor treatment being meted out to older persons in the Nigerian society, her experience led to advocacy to care for the elderly in her community and several other communities. Age Work Care Initiative, a non-profit, non-governmental, non-religious and non-political organization and an associate member of the International Federation on Aging IFA Global Connections has a special consultative status with the UN on aging and is out to challenge and change the current stereotypes of aging and older age. Founded in 2007, it began operations fully in 2011 and by 2013 it was formally registered with the Corporate Affairs Commission. Age Work Care Initiative believes that the aging society is an opportunity for all generations and its major products amongst others are promoting healthy and productive aging through advocacy and social care through distribution of relief items to the aged, the planning of community services for the elderly, and the building of aging recreational centers for the rural elderly. Its vision is to assist the fray, maintain their independence and dignity while aging, and with a mission to promote healthy aging and encourage the older people to be contributing members of the community as well as the society at large. Its objective is to support and develop measures, programs and procedures which will support healthy lifestyle and aging and limit the number of independent older persons to promote the interest and involvement of all generations in the prevention programs and healthcare to advocate the need for older persons to participate in political and social activities intended for them in order to maximize their potentials, amongst other things. In line with this, on Friday 16th May 2014, AWCI formally flagged off our 20 Saturday Invention Program for Older Persons in FCT Abuja with theme promoting healthy aging in the society. The intervention program designed to run for a period of 20 weeks commenced on 17th May and lasted till October 2014 to coincide with the commemoration of the International Day of Older Persons on 1st October 2014 for which Age Work Care Initiative joined the world in the celebration. The program was designed to strengthen preventive and health-promoting activities with old people as the target. The aim of the home visit was to support older people's self-caring and aid them utilize their own resources. The program 
was officially inaugurated by the Federal Ministry of Women Affairs and Social Development. This initiative has seen Age Wear Care Initiative visit several communities in the FCT and beyond. One of the greatest achievements of the AWCI was the fact that the national policy on rollback malaria, which was targeted at population 0 to 5 years, has today, through Age Wear Care Initiative, intervention program for older persons been made to address malaria infection in the elderly through the free distribution of long-lasting mosquito nets LLMN and provision of free diagnosis for the treatment of malaria as well as providing free drugs for malaria infected older persons. Age Wear Care Initiative also has the Age Friendly Alliance Volunteer Group forming strong partnerships with community-based groups through collaborative efforts. The network conducts research, provides community intervention programs, training, and influences policies to promote healthy aging in diverse settings. AWCI, with the help of partners and well-meaning Nigerians, aims to build aging recreation centers in every community where there is at least 50 older persons ranging from age 60 and above. The initiative to build two pilot centers is on course. It is estimated that each year some 5 million older persons around the world are abused, neglected and exploited at considerable financial, psychological and social cost to the countries concerned. This shows that elder abuse is a growing serious problem that exists in every community and every neighborhood whether rich or poor. AWCI is preferring measures through its advocacy network to check some of these violations, if not all, taking advantage of the World Elder Abuse Awareness Day, WEED. WEED was launched in 2006 by the International Network for the Prevention of Elder Abuse and the World Health Organization at the United Nations. It is observed on June 15 by most countries. WEED is intended to provide an opportunity to communities around the world to share information about abuse, neglect and exploitation of the elderly members of society and to propose ways to prevent it. In our fast aging world, older people will increasingly play a critical role through volunteer work, transmitting experience and knowledge helping their families with caring responsibilities and increasing their participation in the paid labor force. And this Age Wear Care Initiative seeks to achieve through healthy and active participation of older persons in its various programs.